What is going on, you guys? It is The Talking Sasquatch, and it's great to have you back. I have been waiting to make this video for literally what feels like forever, but today is the day. Finally, on September 10th, just five days ago from today, Flipper Zero dropped the 1.0 firmware. That's right, Flipper Zero is no longer beta, it is now fully Sigma Riz. Is that how that works? I don't know. Either way, it's super exciting. Now, ever since the 1.0 drop came out, I've been getting a ton of questions about it. And actually, things aren't exactly as they seem. Today, we're going to take a deep dive into exactly what Flipper Zero firmware 1.0 is and show off all the cool advancements that have happened in the Flipper Zero firmware over the past couple years. All right, so buckle up and grab your emotional support bottle of Nuka-Cola Quantum and let's get at it. All right, so what's new in Flipper Zero Firmware 1.0? Well, it turns out not much. Flipper Zero Firmware 1.0 is more or less a celebration of all the amazing accomplishments that Flipper Zero has had over the past couple years. Now, Flipper made a blog post that shows all of the changes that they're featuring in the Flipper Zero Firmware 1.0. Honestly, I hadn't even seen some of the things in there before, so I kind of feel guilty for not reading all the change logs. But I mean, who reads the change logs on every single one of the firmware updates? I do. I do. Shut up, nerd. Nerd! All right, let's take a look at this blog post. We'll break it all down, and I'll actually show you how to do some of the cooler things on my Flipper Zero. But first, a really quick message from today's sponsor, PCB Way. If you want to create the next greatest hacking gadget, PCB Way can help you the entire process from beginning to end. Their custom PCB manufacturing makes everything easier than ever. They have engineers on board that will help you design everything, make sure you don't make any silly mistakes like I always do, and then they can actually help 3D print any type of case you want for it. PCB Way has helped me make so many amazing creations, and they can help you too. So head on down to PCBWay.com for a free instant quote. Thank you so much for your continued support. You guys are awesome. All right, let's get at it. Here we go. Firmware 1.0 release all so much fun actually let's take a look at this image right here it's really cool we've got our little sonar sensor our range sensor on there we've got our cyborg we got all sorts of different animals working there there's me down here just chilling i love this graphic i think they did a great job on it so moving on basically they talk about this being the first major release of flipper zero and they talk about all the features that have been in development for the past three years and that are now stable so it kind of talks about what's new but it kind of talks about everything that's happened since basically the beginning of Flipper Zero firmware. So this little infographic goes on and talks about the apps, NFC being faster, the extended battery life, JavaScript support, a bunch of different sub gigahertz protocols. They added a lot of universal remotes. Uh, they added more RFID protocols. Bluetooth is much faster. The apps catalog, we did a video on that like two years ago. And then 40% faster update via Bluetooth. So let's kind of dive into all this stuff and take a look at exactly what they're talking about. Now we have the Flipper Zero app store. We all know how this works. You just load the Q Flipper app on your phone and then you can go into to the app store and pretty much download every app that's been accepted into the app store which is more or less every app that works well and is past flipper zeros qc you can just download them directly to your flipper from your phone i thought this was groundbreaking when this came out so this is one of my favorite additions to flipper zero however this update was from august of 2023 so not exactly new for 1.0 moving on down to dynamic app whoop dynamic app loading subsystem now this actually is on the newer side of things i've been listening to them talk about it on the q a for a while basically when flipper zero first started all of the apps were being stored directly on the internal memory of the flipper zero which is pretty small so what they ended up doing was taking all of the actual flipper zero official apps and offloading them to the sd card now you've got virtually limitless space for putting any apps you want to and it for up the internal memory for other uses so that's actually an extremely extremely useful thing that they did there so that's that's awesome more information on how to install apps on the flipper zero we all know how this works so let's move on to javascript now javascript was introduced in february of 2024 and yeah it allows you to run javascript on flipper zero now i have heard that some of the documentation for javascript isn't the best in the world but there's people out there like derek jameson aka code all night link down below to his youtube channel he actually helps run through a lot 
of this. This guy knows what he's doing. So he's helping bring the JavaScript coding for Flipper Zero to the masses. You may remember from the Momentum Custom Firmware video, I was showing off a script by Gas Station Hot Dog that actually exfiltrated Windows credentials to Discord, which was very cool. So this has been around for a little while. Now, real quick, speaking about custom firmware, specifically Momentum, they have actually implemented all of the things from the Flipper Zero 1.0 update. They've done it along the way. So nothing in Momentum has changed whatsoever. They've always had this stuff. All right, moving on. We've got the new NFC subsystem. This is actually really cool. They've made a ton of efficiency improvements, which have made NFC much faster. If you want to read about each and every one of the improvements, check it out in the blog post. So yeah, the dictionary matching is much, much faster. Actually, let's hop onto the top-down camera and I'll show you how fast you could read like a hotel card. All right, here we have our Flipper Zero and a hotel card, which I happened to borrow from the Sahara when I was in Vegas. So let's go ahead and drop this here and go into NFC. And let's get a read on this. Let's see how long this takes. Read. Boom. All right. And we've already found 31 of our keys. You couldn't actually read the last sector on this, but this was enough to actually get into a hotel room in Sahara. Interestingly enough, it wasn't enough to get into a elevator, but it could get into a hotel room, which is kind of fun. We also realize that you don't even really need to unlock all the sectors in order to use it as a key card. So that was kind of interesting as well. And there we go. It's a safe lock card. Good to go. Literally couldn't be easier. Look at how quick that was. Fantastic. All right, let's get back to the blog post. Also, they added the editing of NFC dumps in the Flipper mobile app, which is really cool as well. And if you want to take a deep dive into NFC, definitely check out my video on why Flipper Zero can't steal your credit card. And there's a bunch of great documentation on that as well. All right, so now we've got the general system improvements. Low power mode was actually from April of 2023, so it's been a while. But yeah, it took the battery life from one week up to about a month. And I can attest to this. When I was at DEF CON, I was walking around with my Flipper Zero on my shoulder the entire time I never charged it once and I had the screen backlight on for I think 30 minutes and every time I noticed it was off I turn it back on I think I went through 3% battery life in two days so that was really good now faster Bluetooth on Android that's actually from May of 2024 and the faster firmware update packages that's actually pretty new that's from July of 2024 now here's some more fun stuff the sub gigahertz improvements they've added more radio protocols and you can listen to walkie-talkies now, I feel like an idiot because I didn't even know you could listen to walkie talkies, but this was added in like December of 2022, right when I started this channel. So let's pop over to the top down camera and take a look at how cool this is. All right, so here we have our Flipper Zero on sub gigahertz. Interestingly enough, my buddy Rocket God just made a short on YouTube about this. That's actually how I learned how to do it. So yeah, let's go ahead and make this all work. So we're just gonna go into sub gigahertz. We're gonna go to read raw. Go over to configuration. We're going to leave it at 433.92, but we're going to switch our modulation to FM 238. Sound's going to go to on. And then if we go back into here and press record, it's going to start making sound. So let me pull off all my noise gates and stuff so you can hear it. All right, with all of the sound effects off, let's hit record and you can see what's going on. There we go. And if I press the transmit button on here, you can hear all the feedback. So let's see, uh, let's see what I can do with this in another room. All right, so let's go ahead and erase this. And then let's grab our radio and I'll be right back. Oops, forgot to hit record. All right, back to the blog post. All right, moving on infrared improvements basically they've added more universal remotes they've been doing that since the beginning of flipper and there's tons of pull requests from people like you that actually made all of that happen so it's not just the devs there yeah and then they go on about how to update firmware to the firmware 1.0 so yeah, that's pretty much the full rundown of Flipper Zero firmware 1.0. It's honestly been great watching all of the advances in Flipper Zero between the devs and the community itself. I've been waiting for firmware 1.0 to do this video for so long. I remember being in a Q&A when they were on version 0.99 and then they introduced 0.100. I was livid. Like I assumed it would go from 0.99 to 1.0, but nope. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are absolute legends. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, Turn on notifications. We'll catch you next time.